this is my uh-oh moment. I don't know what's going to happen. Stay with me and let's get started. Joe McKenzie here. I put on my color dab shirt. I only put my color dab shirt on when I have something important to say, which is pretty seldom. But I'm I'm a little worried. This is like a big uh-oh moment. I think my YouTube channel might be getting shut down, <laughs> which is only important to me and maybe a couple of you um, because I've been doing it since doing it for quite a long time. And it doesn't make me any money. That's not what the channel was ever about anyway. It was about uh, sharing and feeling less isolated and uh, being connected. I mean, there are lots of reasons to do the channel, but uh, I think that I'm really afraid they're going to shut me down. And the reason they're going to shut me down really stinks. Um, a lot of you have said that you enjoy the music that you hear on the channel. There have been two musicians, for the most part, that I've put on my channel. One is my husband, Tom McKenzie, and the other is my good friend, Patty Casey. And Patty and Tom also are singing and performing partners. So when I first started the channel, I was able to use their music. There was no problem at all. You know, I, of course I asked their permission and they said, fine. So for the first, I don't know, four years of doing the channel, it was no problem at all. And this year, 2023, all of a sudden there seems to be a problem with copyright issues. And I can't tell you how frustrating that is to me because I'm putting my husband's music in. I'm hearing it in my ear. And on Patty's tracks, I'm hearing Tom's music as he's singing or playing on her tracks. And yet I don't have permission to use it. It's it's so frustrating to me. Um, and the worst part of it is because I've been using the music all this time, since before they implemented this, I've got lots and lots of their music on my channel and it turns out I might not have permission to use it. And this is not one of the biggest problems in the world. I understand that, of course I understand that. But what it does do is, one of the things that it does is it might be the end of my YouTube channel, which I'm gonna cry about if that happens, I really will. But, um, you know, the bigger implication is, of course musicians should be paid for what they do. And let me tell you, Tom gets paid many pennies <laughs> for what he does, which is really frustrating. And I know the music industry on the whole has been hit, was hit before COVID, uh, because of lots of lots of reasons, streaming, and then of course after COVID because of um, performing venues closing. But one of the things that this forces a content creator, I hate to even call myself that, but you know, I'm just a teacher um, and a person, but what it means is that they want you to go and buy music from different places where it's royalty free. And I went there and I listened to the music and it's nondescript and it meanders and oh god i don't even know how to describe it i mean if you like that kind of music that's great but it i can't identify with it at all and it's not about buying that music that doesn't bother me and i'd be happy to buy would i be happy to buy tom and patty's music yeah i guess i would um not that we would see any money from it but you know, I'm always going to support artists, but that's not who's making the money. And the irony of this is I'm going to be, I'll be probably shut down for making no money and they're shut down for making no money. I mean, at least I was able to on the channel, put their names there and say who they were. Um, and I sound bitter, don't I? The bitterness is starting to come in because it feels so it just feels so unfair and yet they have every right to have their music be protected it's so ironic in the protection aspect of it it's not allowing me to share it oh so frustrating that would be okay if they just said no but the problem is i think they're going to punish me for it and that 
that hurts. It's kind of like being punished for a crime that you didn't know you committed. You didn't even know there was a, uh, uh, anything you were doing wrong. I was just sitting in my house painting, kind of minding my own business, and I got myself into some trouble. Oof. So I'm trying to think positively that this will be okay and that they won't completely shut me down, but I don't know. And what it does mean is I won't be having their music on my channel anymore. That's for sure. I think what I can do if they don't shut me down is I think what I can do is ask Tom or Tom and Patty if they'll just cut me some songs, you know, because they're out in the studio. <laughs> they're out in the studio right now anyway. <laughs> you know, could you make a two minute piece, a, a three minute piece, a five minute piece? You know, those are generally the, the amounts of times that I need and just don't publish it. Just give it to me and then I don't think it would be a problem at all. But it's, it's a very weird dilemma. And like I said, my big concern is that I'm really gonna get punished for it. And um, uh, if I do get punished for it, I certainly won't start the channel up again because it's, it's I don't wanna say it's, it's been work, but it's been a commitment. It's definitely been a commitment. And I don't think I have that in me again. Nah, I don't have it in me. So with sadness, I hope not with sadness, but keep painting. I hope I keep showing up. Keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mass for value, mix for color. And I hope I see you next time. <laughs> YouTube will decide. Okay, bye-bye.